Hi guys, my name is Floss and this is the Grape Jelly Library. Thank you for joining me and please hit that subscribe button. Today is day seven in the 25 books of June. That is where I bring you a book once per day in the month of June with the hopes of getting you to become a reader, getting you to pick reading back up if you fell by the wayside, or perhaps helping you to find your next read. Today's book is also a charming book. Oh my goodness, aren't they all? Like pretty much. There's a there is definitely, itch, itch, a story to be told in every book, isn't there? I'm not kidding you guys, for real. The book that I would like to showcase today is A Gentleman in Moscow by Amor Towles. This book is lovely, charming. Um, you will want to pick this book up to read if you haven't already. It is such a lovely story. The story starts in 1922 in Russia. The main character is Count Alexander Rostov. When Count Alexander was 18 years old, he constructed a poem. It wasn't until years later when it was discovered. Now at the age of 30, a Bolshevik tribunal deemed him a danger to society. However, because he is an aristocrat and he knows so many higher ups, they can't just shoot him. So his punishment is you will stay in this hotel where you were staying for a visit but the difference being, you will stay in here for the next 30 years. You are not to come outside. If you come outside, you will be shot. So it would be in your better interest to just get comfy and cozy because you're going to be here for a while. Well, Alexander is a charming, witty pleasure of a man that you always want to be around. He always has something interesting to say, a story to tell. Um, he's just witty and charming and fun and always a gentleman through and through. We meet several characters throughout this book. We meet his best friend from school. We meet his new best friend in a lot of ways that he met in the hotel. Um, she's a nine-year-old girl and he's a 30-year-old man and they strike up a charming, fun relationship. Uh, he's a, he is playing hide and seek with her. You know, he, he will play any game with her. He is just he is much intrigued with her as she is with him. Now, she is gravitating towards him because she fancies the aristocratic lifestyle. And she knows he possesses that and she can learn a lot from him. Um, and he kind of fancies her because she's young and youthful and fun. And she can learn a lot from her because this nine-year-old little girl is very precocious. She has eyes in the back of her head. She knows a little about everything that is going on in this hotel. And she can very well keep him abreast of all the goings on. So we also have a character who is like a Hollywood starlet that um, he meets and they, they strike up a relationship and there is just so much going on in this book. I like this book because it is super original to me. Um, I have never read a book where a gentleman was put on house arrest in a fancy hotel and also not read a book where... Um, a gentleman has struck up a relationship with someone by the age at the age of nine. We go through their um, stages of life. Uh, he meets Nina as a nine-year-old girl, and it kind of takes us into her adulthood. It definitely is an irresistible book. It definitely is a fun book. Um, one of my favorite, well, my very favorite part of the book is... 
We're in the hotel. Oh, I should say, in within this hotel, he has two restaurants that he can um, choose to eat from daily. And there's a barber shop in the hotel. And, you know, he can kind of definitely live a somewhat normal life within this. He has access to everything that he kind of needs. So um, one of my favorite parts in this book is, oh, and this little girl. Oh, I have so much to tell you about this book. I don't want to, I'm losing my train of thought, but I don't want to leave anything out. This nine-year-old little girl hands him a key and it is a key to every single room in this hotel from the basement to the attic. He had, no no room is off limits to him because he has access to it all through this little girl. All right, so now, guys, my favorite part of this whole book is when we had some ladies sitting in a kind of like, um, I don't recall what kind of room it is. If it was just like, I don't know, it was just a little room. It had cupboards in it. I remember that, and I remember it is where the ladies would meet to play cards and discuss the goings-on of everyone else's business. So little Nina decides she's going to hide in the bottom cupboard and um, kind of eavesdrop in on them, and then when they when the party broke, the gathering broke, she would have access to the leftover cookies and she would have a stockpile of information she could feed to her new best friend, Count Rustoff. It is a lovely book. It is a charming book. And this is the book I am recommending for you today, day seven, 25 books in the month of June. Until next time, I love you. Be well, be good. Be reading.